Hey, Zach coming back here to do another e-liquid review. Today we're doing more Rocket Fuel Vapes flavors and I'm just going to kill off two flavors with this review. Um, the first one we're going to do is the Cat's Meow. Right there. And this is a the website says it is a taste of homemade buttercream cookies with hints of fresh white coconut for a smooth flavor. So let's get the smell on this. It smells a little bit like coconut, but a lot like like an oatmeal cookie, like a kind of like a not a sugar cookie. It's got it's got more than that to it. Might just be the coconut with it. I guess you could say kind of like a snickerdoodle with coconut. <clears throat> okay, so that's the smell. I got it in six milligram. Their juices are 50-50, I believe. Yep. I'll be dripping it on my 26 gauge dual coil, 0.4 ohm setup here. Da -da. Get my air holes lined up and give it a try. Gotta unlock the button first. <laughs> okay. Um, you definitely get coconut um, on the vape. Um, you get the cookie flavor. Um, I'd say it's a little different, probably sub ohming the warmer vape for this one. Kind of adds like a kind of a fruitness to the cookie, adds kind of a tartness to the cookie. Um, and it might be the coconut flavor as well, I'm not sure. Um, it's definitely a solid dessert vape. You get the hints of coconut on the exhale. Um, the inhale is just sweet, buttery cookie flavor. Um, and then the exhale is hints of coconut, and then you get kind of like that oatmeal cookie flavor. I'm not getting a whole lot of their description saying buttercream cookie. Um, it's, more, it's coming off more as like an oatmeal raisin cookie with coconut. Probably not my favorite dessert vape or vape uh, liquid I have from them. Um, but if you like coconut and you like the raisin cookie coconut thing, um, not raisin, sorry, oatmeal cookie, it's more of an oatmeal cookie and coconut, I think you'll really enjoy this. So let's move on to the next flavor. I'll be switching atomizers for this one to the Patriot clone with the clear cap. This one I've got a single parallel coil coming in at about 4 or 5 ohms. It's completely... I covered this thing in cotton because it eats juice. It's like a diesel... not diesel, it's like a V8 engine versus a 4 cylinder with these parallel coils. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is Love Potion number 9. I got this one at zero milligram. This is actually the first zero milligram juice I've bought. And let's check out what it says on their site. Um, this one is a juicy peach with subtle hints and, of fig and blueberry. So peach with a bit of fig and a little blueberry. Let's get the smell on this. I can already tell you this is my favorite flavor other than the Harley's blend that this comes in second. Um, you can smell the peach right away. 
it's a really familiar smell. Um, they did a good job infusing the fig with it. It's a really bold fruity flavor. The peach makes it a really well rounded flavor. <clears throat> so let's uh, get this dripped on here. Okay. Soak this up real good. There we go. The air hole in there. Immediately, you get peach and fig. It's not just peach. And uh, uh, as a cooler vape, it comes off a little perfumey, but suboming or having a warmer vape to it, um, it, it, it makes it more of a well-rounded, well real sweet vape. It's kind of weird with this one. Um, inhale, you get peach. The peach flavor just fills the mouth. And then on the exhale, through the mouth, you get the peach and the fig. Well, you get the peach and the blueberry, kind of. And then if the exhale through the nose, you get more of a fig. This one's really good. I like this one. This one gives you kind of, like, if they made a fruit juice out of this, I would drink it all day. Great vapor with this one, too. It's amazing. And I can chain vape this all day, zero milligrams. So I highly recommend the uh, Love Potion number nine. This is a must try. You gotta, you gotta check this one out. <clears throat> That peach is delicious. Well, thanks for watching, guys. That is um, Rocket Fuel Vapes. And uh, you can go to their site. I'll put their link in the description. And uh, well, I'll be right back for another review.